The business community here on Toronto's waterfront was hoping to go out with a bang as the season comes to a close, and that's exactly what they got. Right throughout the entire day, we saw nice sunny skies as well as an air show right above the water here. And of course, lots of lineups at the businesses and people just enjoying a nice long weekend Sunday. Now, although today was a really strong closeout to the season, the Waterfront BIA is releasing a report this week that details a little bit more of a mixed bag from the season. The executive director of Toronto's Waterfront BIA, Tim Coker, explains. We just haven't seen the return to the pre-pandemic visitation from outside of the country. I think Destination Toronto has numbers showing that when there was about 1.8 million visits from outside of the country to downtown Toronto, before the pandemic, uh, it's now about 1.4 last year and this year we're tracking towards. But he says it's not all bad, describing the overall scene as a mixed bag. One of my friends who has a gift shop told me this is his best summer ever. Beaver Tail said best summer ever. But then one of our more premium restaurants said sales down about 12% over last year. So I think that's reflective of the Canadian Chamber of Commerce spending trackers shows that uh, discretionary spending is down in Toronto more than it is anywhere else in Canada. He adds there's another helpful trend starting to take effect in the area. The neighborhood is growing. There's been 20,000 new residents move in since 2010 and another 20,000 office jobs added since then. I mean, that's definitely changed the business composition down here. You have a lot more businesses focused on just having regular users and you have fewer businesses focused on tourism that actually shut down in the winter. But you've got a more steady crowd throughout the entire year. We had a chance to hear from a couple of businesses on the waterfront Sunday afternoon who expressed a similar message. It's going great this year. Um, we're really busy today. It's probably the busiest day of the year. And um, it's been maybe not as busy as like 2019. I feel like the um, traffic down here has dropped off a little bit since um, since the pandemic. Um, but it's we're having a good year for sure. You're, you're feeling good. Yeah, for sure, yeah. At the same time, Kevin Curry, co-owner of Wheel Excitement, says he's also not seeing pre-pandemic numbers, describing the situation as mediocre, but also expressing optimism for the near future. Uh, you know, if I say Ontario Place would be great to have back, that's, that's an attraction that draws 2 million plus people. Uh, we have the Portland Changes, which uh, now is just one massive construction site. Um, you know, that's going to come online. I think it's going to be a very exciting place. And with that excitement, brings the people to the waterfront. There are a couple of other good pieces of news coming on the horizon that the BIA is looking to. One is the booming cruise industry that came back very strong post-COVID. And the other one is a lot of that short-term rental stock like Airbnb as well as hotel stock that we lost over the past two years is starting to come back. The BIA estimating we should see at least three new hotels on the waterfront over the next 10 to 20 years. On Toronto's waterfront, David Zura, City News.